The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Suck My Asshole 1014. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Do I look like I give a diddly fuck? Don't worry, I'm equally as confused myself, renegade. The gay-ass defendant will refrain from talking to his lover in the night, also known as his defense attorney. Now, are you fucking ready or not, you douche bitch? Sexy. Now, if the prosecution would give their opening statement. Thank you, your handsomeness. Ha! Gay! The defendant will refrain from making homosexual jokes in this court void. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna shove a rusty metal rod up your ass and through your nose. Anyway, please proceed. Yes, your roundness. We are gathered here to use this useless YouTuber over here, Supersonic1014, to prove who is truly guilty of the crime at hand. The crime of... Well, that part should be quite obvious. Then why do I still not know yet? The defendant will refrain from interrupting the prosecution. As I was saying, the crime committed against our fellow member of the Globe Society should be fairly obvious. The defendant is charged with the murder of the Great Globe meme. Excuse me? You gotta be shitting me! Do you see your bloody chunks coming out of my non-existent asshole? No, you don't. So let me get this straight. I am being held against my will in some weird-ass interdimensional trial by a mentally challenged psychopath for the murder of a fucking meme. Well, thank you, Captain Fucking Obvious. Now shut the fuck up and let the proceedings continue. Objection! If you think the topic of memes is quote-unquote trivial, then you, sir, have obviously never become popular enough to become a beloved meme. So I'd recommend you learn your place before making assumptions. Ah! Thank Christ! I thought this would never fucking end. Now we can finally get to the meat of the matter. Prosecution, call up your first fuck buddy, I mean witness. Yes, your sexiness. I wish to call Katrina to the witnesses stand. Advancement granted. You changed motion to advancement for the sole purpose of it being taken sexually, didn't you? If you don't shut the fuck up, you piss stained recolor, I'll hold your fucking defense attorney in contempt of court. <coughs> Try me, bitch. Dude, is that really just another globe with a wig on it trying to be a girl? Don't be fucking transphobic, you white cis male scum. Fuck, okay, Tumblr. Control your client, gay man. Can we please just get on with this so I can go the hell home? Cute, but regardless, please continue prosecution. Yes, your hardness. Please state your name and occupation for the record, madam. My name is Katrina. I work at the nearest beauty salon back at my home dimension. Sure you do. You say something, dickface? Nah, pretty sure you're just hearing your mother lamenting your existence. Gay man. You are whatever I fucking say you are, you ugly ass haram objection. No offense, your prettiness, but can we please get on with this? I have a globe worshipping ritual to attend to in a few hours. Normally I'd fucking crack open your nuts for that, but because I'm sick of this goddamn conversation anyway. Objection sustained. Thank you, Miss Katrina. Would you please tell the court about your experience with the murder of the globe meme? Yes, sir. <laughs> this ought to be good. It was a normal day like any other, A uh, Normal day like any other cliché. You better fucking nail that mouth shut before I come over there and shove an elephant's testicle down your fucking throat. Can my client please continue? Fuck yes. Anyway, it was about seven-ish months ago. I was on my way home from my job at the salon when I noticed that my cousin, the soon-to-be victim, was mysteriously missing from our town that day. <laughs> 
You motherfucker, your time to pick apart this young lady's story is after the entire testimony is given. Wait your fucking turn, you bitch. Now hold on a second here. You're meaning to tell me you've got not only another one of your kind prosecuting against us, a witness from one of your kind testifying against us, and your fucking abusive racist self, yet you can't even give us something as simple as an advantage regarding testimonies? My god boy, they might as well rename you to Super Obvious 1014. Fuck you. Gay man, control your fucking client. Objection. Your Honor, can we just let the defense ask their question now? The faster we diminish their hopes and dreams of ever winning, the faster I get to go get my honorary Obey Globe sticker. Fucking fine. Ask your shit question, gay man. He was indeed. Our big beautiful strong member here always gets up super early in order to find new ways of making our society a fantastic place to live. Oh god, I just realized. There's a whole fucking society of him. Sounds sexy, doesn't it? No, it sounds goddamn terrifying. Same difference. Witness, continue. It was really strange how he wasn't around, considering how he's always watching over the glow peasants at the mines. Hold it right there! You people have peasants working at mines? Jesus Christ, what the hell are mean societies like? Objection! First of all, you're the defendant. You can't object anything. Secondly, that question is irrelevant to the trial currently at hand. OBJECTION! Bitch, I do whatever the fuck I damn well please. Gay man, I'm seriously about to throw a fucking dagger at your client's left nipple. Control him. Silence you fucking objection! Your greatness, with all due respect, we really should be wrapping up this testimony. Sigh. Objection sustained. Please finish the fuck up witness. I'm getting tired of this shit. I didn't think too much of his absence however. I knew that sometimes he had to keep to himself in his quarters to get additional work done. So I thought he'd be back by the next day. Little did I know that morning would be the last I'd ever see from him. Fucking finally! That took goddamn centuries! Can I fucking shank the shit out of shit spewer 1014 now? <laughs> Objection! Renegade, you are aware that testimony did give us some new information, right? We now know the date that the murder occurred, around seven months ago. It's more helpful than you think, Renegade. <laughs> You're aware that entire testimony is fucking bullshit, right? What is the meaning of this fucking idiocy? You better have a good explanation for this, you fuck hog, or I'll cut open your fucking ball sack and use it as a makeshift M&M's container. Renegade. When you were fighting this fat-ass globe a ways back... This is my natural shape, you fucking dick! You're one to talk, you homophobic retard! Shut the fuck up! Thank you. Anyway, did you remember the globe saying anything... odd during your fight? How adorable! However, it's time for you to see how thousands of years of pain and regret can make me the god I've deserved to be! Exactly! Let's keep in mind the date Katrina over here gave us, around seven months ago. Now tell me, does seven months sound even remotely close to thousands of years to you? Oh no! Fuck my goddamn ass! Objection! Super Sonic, you can't just jump in like that. You're the defendant. <laughs> Objection overruled. No one gives a rat's hairy ass what you think, gay man. You heard the judge. It's time to drop this line of questioning. Objection! Fucking bullshit! We got some extremely contradictory information over here! You can't just throw our points to the wayside like that just because the party who gave it isn't who you expected! OBJECTION! Even if this didn't critically infringe on the rules of the courtroom! 
Let the prosecution finish, you straight out of Compton looking motherfucker. Thank you, your flashiness. Anyway, even if this wasn't against the rules, the time at which the murder happened isn't significant to this case in the slightest. The person who did it is. <laughs> Objection! The way I set up my witnesses has nothing to do with the argument currently at hand. Objection! None of that matters at this point anyway. According to the evidence, you were murdered thousands of fucking years ago, correct? With this in mind, do you really think I was alive thousands of fucking years ago to even attempt a crime like this? Because unless I had some kind of goddamn time machine or some shit like that, that means I couldn't have killed this poor excuse of a judge. You dumbass little bitches. What part of that fucking statement I made back when I whooped gay man's ass ever even hinted at the fact that my suffering from thousands of years ago is even remotely related to the murder of this trial? Exactly, you fucking hobo. For all you know, that statement could be completely unrelated to the trial at hand. SHIT! And before you even think about using this pointless as fuck argument, I never explicitly stated when I got stuck in this hellhole of a void either. So for all you fuckers know, I could have only been in here for a few months, or I could have very well disappeared to here exactly when my prosecutor's witness said, You fucking bastard. Hey, it's not my fault you two brain dead homo sapiens aren't able to form a decent argument to save your fucking life. Anyway, prosecution, now that these goddamn idiots wasted a few minutes of not only mine and the marathon viewers time, but the plot's time as well, if you would so kindly continue. <laughs>